I thank you all for coming and being patient. Uh, we just had a little technical difficulties with the um, presentation. We're all uh, up and running yep. now. But I can't, like... Okay, Dave, can you guys see the screen, the full presentation? Yes, we can We can see the screen. Okay. I think everybody who's on can see the screen. All right, so thank you all uh, for coming today for Bridge Connect Transport, um, our Norton Community Outreach Meeting. Um, this is the still the same principles um, and plan that we've had for Zero South Washington Street uh, for Queens Bridge Group. Um, we have the HCA here. Uh, this is specifically for our uh, transport company. We're a DBE, vertically integrated company. Um, our intentions are to have cultivation, marijuana product, ma uh, product manufacturing and transportation um, on the uh, site here. Uh, we're comprised of subject matter experts. We have legal advisory, cultivation, botanist, security, marketing and branding, public relations, real estate, as well as construction. So a little bit about who we are, myself, uh, Tiffany Isom, our COO, Shane Darcy, our partner, Kyle Siebeth, our Chief of Training, Edwin Perverger, uh, Chief of Security is now John Terry, who's also uh, been submitted to the town as well as our, our application. Um, William Conley uh, for Director of Transportation, as well as um, Timothy Kelly and Seth for oversight of our commercial transport and uh, manufacturing. This here shows that we are properly zoned uh, for what we have our HCA here. This is the, the piece of property right now, the site where we will. Um, previously, we were going to put a 25,000 square foot building. We've gone through uh, about 85% engineered uh, of engineering our, our site here. And we have found that we cannot fit a building bigger than uh, 15,000 um, to 10,000 10, to 15,000 square feet uh, footprint due to uh, conservation, wetlands, um, just things of that nature that the property doesn't support a building of our original size. So we are working with Brian Dunn from MLB uh, Engineering. He has worked very closely with the town representatives to make sure that we've created a plan to keep us out of those wetlands as well as we have found two vernal pools here uh, on our site, which has caused us a lot of uh, restrictions and a lot of um, boundaries that have set us back throughout the construction process. And that's what has been uh, taking the majority of our time here. So right now, we have our vehicle stored at 324 East Main Street. The reason why we are redoing this meeting um, is because I, I did a community meeting to the garage um, just because we have the lease and when you submit to the CCC, you know, um, they do want to know about both of your locations. However, the HCA and our license will be to zero South Washington Street, uh, which is the site that we just showed you. Throughout the construction, we have uh, we've rented 324 East Main Street in Norton, and that is while we're under construction. The construction will be, like we, I said in the previous slide, changed from that larger footprint down to between 10 to 15,000. We will have two levels, um, two stories rather, and it'll be a vertically integrated site. We will roll out with transport uh, fulfillment location here. This was a little um, on what our building will look like. Again, footprints 10, 000, between 10,000 and 15,000. For the cultivation piece of this, although this is just for transport, this is important as well. The envelope and our uh, odor mitigation that we plan to use here for fulfillment, uh, there will be um, pack only packaged product stored uh, once we are at 100% operations. Um, originally, we will, our rollout will be just the vehicles because we have we don't have the site and it does need to go under construction. Uh, we've created a ma uh, man labor management team. 
and our mission is to evaluate the industry's broad labor markets and standards. We'd like to identify trends, best practices, and innovative ways to recruit, train, and retain our current staff. Uh, one of the things that our team has run into um, that we've seen within the industry is that, you know, folks will put together employment plans or community impact plans, and cannabis operators haven't been fully fulfilling them. So this is the reason why we've created our labor management team to help us in real time track any deficiencies that we have or that we're not meeting in the plans that we've set forth for diversity, as well as for hiring within the, the community of Norton, as well as hiring uh, folks with disproportionate um, who have been impacted uh, by the war on drugs. So we will, our heads of each department will have um, a streamlined system and reporting process for any of these deficiencies to come in through the pipeline, and we will meet monthly and we'll have quarterly meetings to address uh, these issues. A little bit more on our labor management team. Um, the reason, again, that this is vital is because we believe that our labor management team is what is going to help us be really good neighbors. So if there are any issues or concerns that arise, whether it's through construction um, or when we do become operational, we want to have that open line of communications, not only within the industry with other operators, but with the community, with our community partners um, in the municipality as well. Okay. Um, again, the transport, we will run, uh, ideally we'll open 8 a.m. and we'll run from 8 to 8. We will not uh, have high traffic. We have two vehicles as we speak. We do plan to um, outfit two more uh, to keep up with the demand of the market. Once these vehicles are out for the day, um, they'll, they'll be on the road throughout the whole um, day. Are there any questions? Laura Parker. Hi, thank you. Hi. Um, so you have a signed uh, HCA with Norton for transport currently, correct? Correct. Okay. And when was that signed? Um, Dave, do you have the exact date? We've had our. Go ahead. Sorry. Uh, yes. So um, it was actually uh, recently renewed, um, and. Uh, we have, I believe it was signed in November of last year, and that uh, that was uh, with a, uh, I believe, a six-month extension. We gave yes. a presentation before the uh, select board at a meeting in uh, November requesting that extension. And the reason we gave uh, at that time, and as uh, Tiffany had explained this evening, is the um, the conditions at the site required an extensive amount of engineering. So we've had to do a lot more engineering of the site than we anticipated. It has resulted in the footprint of the building being reduced uh, significantly also. But uh, I believe that uh, was executed by the town of Norton um, in November of last year. And that was a six-month extension. Ma'am, our original HCA was December 18th of uh, 2022. And the extension was in November, this past November. I have a few other questions, but I'm happy to let other people jump in if they have some. I did see a question on what size of the vehicles. We have two transit vans. Um, they're Dar Dodge uh, transit vehicles, the XL, the medium size, six foot uh, roofs. But they, they look like almost like sprinters. Problem. You can ca uh, continue, Laura. Okay. Okay. I don't see any more questions in the chat. I don't no, I don't. I don't want to hog up uh, any. I don't want to hog up your time. So, um, do I understand that you've you you've already applied for the license with the CCC, correct, for yes. bridge transport and logistics? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Do you also have a signed transport HCA in Seekonk? No. Do you, are you aware that your transport license application with the CCC indicates that your transport location is in Seekonk 
No, so we have an office in Seekonk, so my application should indicate that the uh, office is there, which we also have the garage. It should be on that application as well of 324 East Main Street, but that's actually like a satellite location. I do have an office in Seekonk. Okay. You are going to want to take a look at that. The CCC posts all of the licenses that are in process, and they list it by the community in which the license will be used, and it is showing your transport license will be in Seekonk. Sure. So we're under uh, RFI right now, and that was one of the things that we have addressed. So we are number 14 in the queue um, for that, so it should be updated, but I, I am very much aware. I thank you for bringing that up. Okay. Can I ask what is it on your page two of your presentation, mm -hmm. DBE, what is the DBE? DBE is the Massachusetts Designation for Disadvantaged Business Enterprise. Okay, got it. All right. Um, and it also references, so I understand we've got this uh, hearing is for transportation. The one at 8 p.m. is for, it states it's for three purposes, but I think it's cultivation only because I think that's the only other license you've got started. Um, there's also marijuana product manufacturing. Mm -hmm. um, where is that intended to be taking place at the this location at Vera South Washington? So I have a signed location? HCA. Yep, the, the HCA, um, and we do have another 8 o'clock meeting that is for the cultivation. Um, but our HCA that I have is for cultivation, manufacturing, and transport. And I will be pursuing all three of them at this location, yes. Okay. All right. So I'm assuming you're going to be under what name will the manufacturing? I'm not. I'm not sure yet. Um, that hasn't been decided. Okay. So you have not yet applied with the CCC for manufacturing. No. Okay. No. Nope. Just it. the cultivation and the transport. Got it. Um, looking at the presentation, it's it's got a date on it that's a year out of date. Um, are all of the people listed in this presentation still involved with Bridge Transport? in some fashion or another, um, but I have updated on our application um, who will be the management, but yes, we are all still um, very much involved. Okay, um, and then last question, thank you, is sure. do you have a timeline? Um, is it dependent upon cultivation starting first? Uh, nope, so actually uh, we're going to roll out transport first. We have an amendment to our HCA that is allowing me to operate out of 324 East Main Street while the site at 0 South Washington Street is under construction. Um, Steve, sorry, Laura, that's kind of, I uh, just want to piggyback on Steve's question with the timeline. So immediately after receiving provisional licensing uh, or provisional status with the CCC, I can then go for the special permit. And once we receive the special permit, which we are, we have a pretty clear path because we've had extensive meetings with the town, with conservation, with the water. Um, and we, Billy can speak a little bit on that. Um, but we have, you know, like I said, a pretty straight path. From there, we, be, we plan to begin construction right away. We would have liked to have done this um, a year ago. Unfortunately, I have not one, but two vernal pools on this site and they are protected and, and only in Massachusetts. So that has been really difficult for us. Like I said, um, as far as the even ownership of the property, it caused issues for us because, you know, it's still conventional real estate. Um, typically people don't engineer 85% of the site um, beforehand. Unfortunately, we, we had to do that. We've had to put extensive capital into the property. We've had to do uh, drill uh, holes there. We've had to do um, all kind of site testing. We thought that there was ledge there. So, you know, so we've had literally construction, just pre-con entitlement. So it's, it's very much uh, the same as conventional development when it comes to the entitlement process. So as quickly as we can move through all of this pre-construction, um, we look forward to breaking grounds. The yeah. transport will roll out immediately. Um, we plan to do this, you know, there is a demand. Um, we have involvement in the cannabis space throughout the state. So we we have, you know, some made huge strides in uh, contracts uh, development with customers. And, you know, we really would like to take advantage of the uh, space now and start creating some revenue to put into um, our site as well as Norton. 
Got it. Okay. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate all of the uh, the answers. No problem. Thank you for the questions. Um, anything else? Is um, please feel free. Any questions? Um, Okay, so our presentation, as well as my contact information, um, is accurate. It will stay on the drive. And if we can um, be of any help or answers to any of you throughout this process, please feel free to reach out to any of us. And I encourage you um, to give us any feedback, things that will help us be good partners to the community. Uh, we really want to encourage that. And once we get our license and be on the lookout, we will be having a job fair so that, you know, we can reach out to Norton uh, residents specifically and, 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 you know, be good people and a woman of my word. I thank you guys for your time. Um, have a great night.